hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm your girl erica for those of you that don't know but um anyway today we're dealing with it's a fire that's on the loose somewhere around us where it's pretty smoky outside so i don't know exactly the location is coming from but it's definitely smoky outside so i don't know if i shared with y'all my little uh toddler is going to preschool um so i'm pretty happy about that but um only thing i'm not too thrilled about is you know being that is a uh, corona and all of that um parents cannot be in a classroom so that's kind of a little bummer because I'm so um active when my kids is you know young in school you know I pop up or help out a little bit or just you know be there so this is is this gonna be new to me because my last child is um 11 so it has been some years that I um you know dealt with head start so things have changed since then but um i am so happy that he is about to start um school um just because you know it pretty much give him a little bit of space and able to play with kids his age and get out and just do things you know what i mean while i'm sitting here trying to create for the little time being so it's pretty much a couple of hours and that's all i pretty much need just a little bit so anyway i'm happy for him but i have to make him a mask pretty much because i did vlog a couple of vlogs back on me making him a mask and y'all mm. See, this what happened. I went to Best Buy. I took all my older kids and got them all laptops. And this boy sat here and lost his mask. Somewhere in Best Buy. I know for sure it was in Best Buy. Because when I left Best Buy to go to the car, I noticed he didn't have his mask. So I hurried up and went running back in there and it was about to close. And I literally had to get them to try to find, you know, look around for his mask. But you know, being that they were pretty much closing, you know, it is what it is. But then I contact someone to see if they um found it in a lost and founds or whatever and um they said they didn't but i'm pretty sure somebody found that mask and liked it and kept it that's what i think but anyway um today i'm gonna be making him a mask because of course you know when he goes to school he's gonna need a mask so that's pretty much what i'm gonna do so i went into my design space and um um, I pretty much cut out a template of the mask because what I'm going to do with this mask, I'm going to bring it into my digitizing software and I'm going to um, scan this into my a laptop and um, upload it into my software. I'm going to take the dimensions of the actual mask and I'm on to uh, digitize it to get a exact placement of where the design should be placed. So if you see these lines in here, I'm going to keep the design in here and make sure it's not too too big so that's what i'm going to be doing today and i thought i'd just take y'all along continue watching because i'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna do so i'm pretty much about to skin this So I pretty much take it to measure the um, height and length. Try to get an accurate height. I'm gonna go with I'm do five and a half. Then my length. I'm going to do about a little less. 
And I have, okay, so I pretty much had to do the math, so I'm going to go with Anyway, that's, that's my measurements right there. So anyway, I'm in my um, software and I'm about to go into create mode. I don't know how to share my screen, so I'm going to bring up what I scanned. And if you hear my kids in the background, sorry about that. I do have kids wanting to this side small that's what i save it under and i'm gonna open that up and it's pretty much way smaller than what i need so i'm going to change my hoop size and you know i'm not an e expert in this i'm learning this is new to me so but I have did this before. This is where I'm going to key in my information. So I go out of the create mode because I got um I got a brilliant central. Hope I pronounced that right. But anyway, so I'm pretty much gonna unlock it and key in my inches. So the length was about five, um, seven over 16, enter. And then the height was about five and a half. That's probably what I'm gonna go for, five, one, have and I do not have no one to hold the camera so I'm trying to give y'all the best angle as possible so please excuse me on that I will go into create mode but I want to zoom in first and then I'm going to draw with points and I'll take it right here and then this is pretty much a curve so yeah that's pretty much but i'll share some of the rest i need both of my hands so i want to go ahead and change my color to probably black just so i could see it a little better matter of fact i'm just gonna put it any color because I can always go in the system so as you see um, this is pretty much my mask and I'm going to turn this into a stitch file matter of fact I don't know why is it let me see seem like this is not closed no not closed. I don't know why wouldn't it not be closed. As a matter of fact, bring it back and then I'm going to select select it and then I want to close it. So that's closed now as you can see because at first it was not closed for some reason. Alright, I like that. So I pretty much work on one side first and then once I got that down pack. So this is pretty much going to be like an applique. And y'all will see how it turn out when I bring it to the machine. And then turn it down just a little bit. See a little better. And like I said, this right here is my guide to know how big the design should be. I'm going to double, I'm going to copy and paste under. And so this one right here is going to be a single run. Then the next one will be a double stitch. I'm going to do that as a double stitch and then 
I want both of them where the length say 2.5 I want my length to be about let's say 3.5 because it's pretty much it's just to hold it in place I'm not sitting here it's a temporary pack down gotta do different colors so one is gonna be a different color than the other because they let your multi needle make a decision to stop it so I'm just gonna pick any I'm gonna do any color just as long as they both different colors because um, so I got black for the top and then green right here so I can tell my machine that this is to stop before I get to um, the next step so now I will be placing my design on here and I think I have a design somewhere for him that he wanted oh so I pretty much um copy and paste the designs and I went up here um to edit and I grouped each mass piece together so when I move it they all will move so anyway this is what I'm going with and I'm going to go ahead and put a monogram on the other side, but I'm just going to do it like this. I have to make sure my dimensions was right, and I'm going to go ahead and put his initials TJS on the mask and make it a little bigger and this time I'm gonna put it somewhere in the middle of this because last time I did his mask I put it um at the bottom so But anyway, this is what I got so far. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of center the design. Vertical, just to get an idea. So pretty much right there. Then what I'm going to do, and I'm going to flip it around. Put it down a little bit. So I'm pretty much measuring to make sure it's pretty much even and it says about 116. This right here is about one, one inch. Could be going down a little more. Okay, so I have to get the measurements right for this to measure here to the letter here, same degree. So now since I did that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this and I'm going to hide it because I don't need it no more. I just need it to find the design to go in between there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hide that and it disappeared so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this design and I'm going to um, group it together so if you don't know you go to edit and then go down to group so that way when I flip it around which is right here if you can see that you flip it right here horizontally so that's what I'm gonna do uh oh I didn't know this was gonna be like this so what I'm probably gonna do is go in here uh oh I'm gonna just go where the letter at and I'm going to flip it back so that way it'll still be even. 
so there we have it and then right here I'm going to take this and I don't know if I group that where the design stays right there so I'm going to group it together so if I was to move it and then right here I'm going to go ahead and hide um, the background part and then I will be changing the colors and things and pretty much get back with y'all so y'all can see the next step. another day y'all yes another day i'm back to finish up this video and today i did get a packet and this is some backing to cover up the um stitch design like if you was to do um you know shirt sorry you just want to be a little more professional and put this in but you see how much I got? This was a reasonable price. I think it was about $20, $22 or something like that. And it is um, 12, um, 12 inches and uh, 25 yards. So I don't think you can beat this. And I test it out. And it is, I got this on Amazon. And it is by super stable stabilizer and i'll show you the packet can you see can you see so i got this and i wanted to try it out and um you know because i just want to have everything i need so whenever i come across on doing certain projects i can just be professional your girl's trying to be professional even though things is going slow right now you know that ain't stopping me i'm not the uh, one that's you know easy to give up or anything like that but anyway by the way i went on and tested out because it's my first time uh you know using it so i tested out on one shirt that i did for my son and excuse the shirt because he been uh biting on the shirt and it's pretty wore wore out and i just wanted to test the stitches so anyway here we go so i test it out it seems really good around the edges now what happened was right here was um i kept pressing and it was high and i had some uh i had my iron on steam and i probably pretty much no probably to it i put a little too much heat in it kind of made a little hole there so i repatched it with another piece but i like it so far and um i know a lot of people use the tender touch or whatever I don't know the brands by Silky or something like that. And I just know they a little pricey. And I think theirs is about 9 inches and about, is it, is it 9 what? inches? So anyway, I think you get pretty much um, way less more. And I think it's like in the teens the price but i feel like shoot this was only this 25 uh yards and you know i came out better getting this now they did have one that was about um i don't know if it was about 10 
no 11 yards something like that or 12 yards one of them um but i went on and got 25 so pretty much doubled it doubled it and just went on and got it because i'm still winning it was cheaper so i'm going to just continue to test this out hopefully this do me some uh, justice and i'll keep uh using it so that's it i will put this up i just wanted to test it out because everybody have their um you know opinions on certain products so there you have it so i already uh cut out my material and i will show y'all i already stitched it out i had a lot of things to do so that's pretty much why i had um stopped and then i had to turn around and restitch woody because um i don't know some was a little bit off a little bit and um yeah and i don't think nobody would have really noticed it but being that i noticed it nah i had to redo that so especially if my work is getting put out there and something that i did i want it right i mean i'll be tripping off the littlest littlest things and i gotta try my best not to but um yeah that's just me so i'm gonna show you um the results and then go to my sewing machine and just finish it off so here we go right here this is what i'm going to stitch out and here go my first one i did i don't know if you can tell the difference being that it's on black but i'll try to reel it in okay so i'm gonna point this out so pretty much this kind of fell off and i noticed with this one you see how it's more neater and cleaner right there um right here and it's the black thread so you gotta really be up in it and then right here where it kind of went off a little you see right here the black thread went off a little and then the other one I did you see that it looks better so I went on and uh, double my stabilizer with this one so the first one I used a cutaway and then the second one I went on and you cut away and I um, went on and floated at the bottom a piece of um, tear away. So, and I checked around my hoop and stuff to make sure it don't mess up this time because I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all can relate out there who hate wasting messing up your material. Me, I do. So yeah, I, I cannot stand messing up my material, but you know, we gonna get better and better by the day in the months and years or whatever, you know what I mean? So I've been doing this for a minute now. I'm, you know, not new to it, but still, it's always some a learning experience. You never, it's never too late to learn, you know? So anyway, excuse me if you um hear any background noise because my kids is home from school. So I just, I'm about to get started because like I said before, my youngest son is about to start a preschool. So he definitely in need of a mask because he lost the first one. Um, so this is pretty much a need. So he starts Monday. I'm so happy for him and sad at the same time because I'm not going to be able to like be there and like just sit in for a minute. You know what I mean? So yeah, thanks to this coronavirus stuff that's going on, but I'm just going to pray and, you know, hope he get through the day and have a great day so i'm about to go go along and go to the sewing machine get this stuff started finished and over with so anyway i like to use some cutaway um to give me a little bit of stability uh when i'm going around the um 
edge here because it's thin and sometimes it get caught on the machine and I'm sitting here ripping scenes and doing it all over again so I'm pretty much going to use a piece of the a stabilizer to cut away and that's going to help it feed through easier so that's what I'm going to do so your girl your girl is finished with this mask and you know i had a little ups and down i don't know if it's my sewing machine or what i really would love to um get like an industrial machine because it's something about my sewing machine where sometimes it um i don't know when i'm sewing a mask it kind of like builds up sometimes and i know i clean the bobbin cage and everything out and you know i still have these problems so i don't know if it would change if i had like an industrial machine because i heard it don't do all that nesting and stuff but um that's what i heard but anyway i'm gonna show you the mask lower mask for a time so I really like it matter of fact let me put it down excuse my lighting because it's bad I hate that yellowish look but um anyway this is the mask this is for my toddler so like I said he was in he was in need of a mask so I really like the outcome I can't um let him wear it right now because he's taking a nap but when he wake up, I would definitely put it on him. And um, I know it fit because this um, last time I made him this exact size, which is a small in you. So I'm not going to be doing anything more today. Um, probably run to the mailbox, see if I have any mail and um see what I'm going to cook for dinner and get um, my kids clothes ready. And that's about it. But well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope everyone had a great day or night whenever you're watching this vlog. If you did like it, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down here. 
subscribe to your girl and um join my journey as i um you know grow grow in life um or whatever so anyway i want to say peace to all my crafters and i'll see you next time in the next vlog so bye Boo.